Welcome to the ultimate adventure guide to Florida's national parks and seashores. Get ready to explore some of the most stunning and unique natural wonders that the Sunshine State has to offer. From ancient forts to magical beaches and everything in between, we've got you covered. Whether you're a history buff, nature lover or just looking for some fun in the sun, this video is for you. So pack your sunscreen and join us on an unforgettable journey through Florida's national parks and seashores. Number 10. Big Cypress National Preserve This park is like a mini Everglades, with wet prairies, mangrove forests and stands of majestic bald cypress trees. And if you're a bird watcher, you'll be in paradise here. There are two scenic drives to choose from, the 27 mile loop road where you can explore a forest of dwarf bald cypress trees and the 17 mile loop which takes you through grasslands and along waterways filled with all sorts of wading birds. Now if you're hoping to spot some of Florida's most impressive creatures, keep your eyes peeled for alligators. The best time to see them in all their scaly glory is between December and May, but you might just catch a glimpse of them year round. And let's not forget about camping and hiking. Big Cypress is open year-round and offers plenty of opportunities to get out and explore the great outdoors. So pack up your tent and hit the trails, because Big Cypress National Preserve is waiting to be explored. Number 9. Canaveral National Seashore This year-round park in northeastern Florida offers epic bird watching, hiking and backcountry camping, as well as 24 miles of undeveloped barrier island beaches to relax and sunbathe. Take a stroll through the diverse mangrove and salt marsh wetlands to spot a variety of wading birds and wildlife, including the Florida scrub jay and bald eagles. Don't miss the Black Point Wildlife Drive for a chance to see wood storks, roseate spoonbills and other fascinating species that vary every time you take the loop drive. Number 8. The Soto National Memorial The Soto National Memorial, located near Tampa on the Gulf of Mexico, commemorates the landing of conquistador Hernando de Soto's expedition in May 1539. The park offers hiking and living history demonstrations year-round. De Soto's goal was to find gold and conquer new territories. But after three years of fighting Native Americans and wandering around the southeast, the exhibition never found wealth. De Soto passed away on May 21, 1542, and his remaining group made their way to Mexico City. Discover the history and explore the park's beautiful surroundings. Number 7. Castillo de San Marcos National Monument Step back in time at the Castillo de San Marcos National Monument, located in St. Augustine, northeastern Florida. Explore the only 17th century military structure in the United States, built as a star-shaped fort using coquina. It's fascinating to see how the fort was constructed, to withstand cannonball impacts using a unique mixture of broken shells and sand. Don't miss the chance to witness historic weapon demonstrations and feel the vibration from the cannons. Experience the rich history of this vital city and how the fort played a role in protecting it during times of war. Number 6. Fort Matanzas National Monument Located just 14 miles south of St. Augustine, this park is open year-round and offers a chance to explore a watchtower fort, hike, beachcomb and birdwatch. Built in 1672 to guard against English troops, Fort Matanzas is a marvel of Coquina construction, similar to its sister fort Castillo de San Marcos. And although it only saw action once in 1742, it stands as a testament to the Spanish mastery of fortification. But getting to Fort Matanzas is an adventure in itself. Boat tours are the only way to reach this hidden gem. Unfortunately, recent hurricane damage means that the boat ramp is under construction, so tours may not be running until repairs are complete. Number 5. Gulf Islands National Seashore Hey there beachgoers! Are you ready to be transported to a magical paradise? Welcome to Gulf Islands National Seashore, where the soft white sand meets the crystal clear waters of the Gulf of Mexico. With 12 units to explore, you'll never run out of fun things to do from swimming and beachcombing to birdwatching and fishing. But the real showstopper is the breathtaking sunset views that will leave you in awe. And if you're interested in history, the park has multiple forts to explore. With four visitor centers, you can learn about the park's unique ecology and history. 
So grab your sunscreen and your sense of adventure and get ready to make unforgettable memories at Gulf Islands National Seashore. If you want to explore more white sandy beaches in Florida, watch this video featuring the 14 best of them. Number 4. Dry Tortugas National Park Dry Tortugas National Park is a hidden gem located 67 miles west of Key West in the Gulf of Mexico. This 100 square mile national park consists of seven islands, including Garden Key with its impressive 19th century US fortification, Fort Jefferson. The islands offer a tropical paradise with crystal clear blue waters, coral reefs and abundant marine life. Keep in mind that over 99% of the park is water, with only seven islands of coral and sand above sea level. Access to the park is limited to boat or seaplane, and reservations fill up quickly. Make sure to plan ahead and book early for a chance to visit this secluded and stunning park. Number 3. Biscayne National Park Located just 20 miles south of Miami, this water-based wonderland is open year-round and has a ton of activities to keep you splashing all day long. From scuba diving and snorkeling, to kayaking, swimming and boat tours, Biscayne has got it all. But don't worry land lovers, there's plenty for you too. Explore the lovely grounds for fishing or pack a barbecue picnic surrounded by water. And be sure to check out the Ranger Guided programs. They are full of great information and you might even learn something new. If you're looking for a unique perspective, rent a canoe or kayak to view the shoreline or take a stroll on the short boardwalk for a glimpse into the marine life of South Florida. And on weekends, rangers may even take you out to hike on Elliott Key or paddle the shore. Number 2. Timucuan Ecological and Historic Preserve This park has it all. Hiking, kayaking and birdwatching galore. But that's just the beginning. The Timucuan Preserve Visitor Center is the heart of the park and it will take you on a journey through time, from the Timucua Indians to the present day. You can hike for miles through pine flat woods, hardwood hammocks and marshy wetlands in the Theodore Roosevelt area. And don't miss out on a visit to the Kingsley Plantation where you can explore the oldest surviving plantation house in Florida, dating back to 1798. You'll see the slave cabins, barn, kitchen and gardens and learn about the history of Sea Island cotton and the enslaved workers who harvested it. Number 1. Everglades National Park Everglades National Park, located in southern Florida, is home to many rare and endangered species, including the Florida panther. Covering over 1.5 million acres, it's one of America's largest parks. The park offers wildlife viewing, hiking, boat tours, tram tours and bird watching. Florida Bay and the 10,000 islands make up about one third of the park's acreage, making it a paradise for water lovers. You can find mile after mile of beautiful waters to kayak and canoe. The park's importance as a reserve and wetland cannot be overstated and it has been deemed a World Heritage Site, an International Biosphere Reserve and a wetland of international importance. If you want to learn more about the Sunshine State, watch our Visit Florida playlist and subscribe to this channel.